I had a junior high school teacher, Ruth Lewis. She taught crafts class at junior high school and ceramics. And then I, uh, somebody said, well, this guy across town, Raul Cornell, has people part-time and you could work for him. I was working as a lifeguard then and he offered me, I think, 25 cents an hour more. So I said, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> and we, we just hit it off. And then uh, I went up to UCSB and they had uh, Conway Pearson, who was a great teacher. And then one summer I did Marjorie Wildenhain, who was Pond Farm Pottery. And she had been taught by the Bauhaus in Germany on how to do things. And so uh, you spent the whole summer throwing hundreds of pots and you only kept one. <laughs> I have it. <laughs> and so I went back to Santa Barbara at that point, got my bachelor's degree, spent two years at UCLA in uh, master's work. And, uh, and Raul and I joined forces at that point. I was still working for him. I was teaching uh, sculpture class at Mount St. Mary's College, which was, David Cressy was taking a leave of absence, so I got the job. And uh, Raul and I just kept going. We kept, we hit it off. And finally I said, I've got to, I've really got to get away on my own. In the 90s, the design business all over the U.S. died. So I stopped it at that point. I kept my wheel. And then uh, in 2005, my daughter was walking around North Hollywood and ran into a mid-century modern store. And they had uh, uh, Asher in there and they had for David Cressy. And she walked in and said, that's not David Cressy. And they said, how do you know? And she said, well, my father made it. And so they gave me a show <laughs> and it picked up again. And people kept, hey, can you make this? Can you make this? Can you make this? Do this, do that. And I said, yeah, I can do that. And so I, I, I got busy there. Uh, my workshop was the patio. You had leaves dropping on you. you had, if it rained, you were in the rain. It was cold. It was terrible. So he said, well, as long as things are going, let's make a studio out of it. Build a house with a studio. So we did. This is just wedging it to get the air bubbles out of it. This is clay that's been used. Okay. Though we pound it in the center as well as possible. And then you center it. And although I just wedged the clay out on the wedging table, this is a secondary wedging process. And then we open it. And I'm gonna be an, an initial pull just to kind of even everything out and get the walls as even the least possible. If you got a good surface, you can do anything. <laughs> 